Naked edges is painful and sometimes it's hard to fix. In this video, I would like to show you how to fix the naked edges in three scenarios. Are you ready? Let's get started. Naked edge is the enemy for the 3D printing and we always need to fix them before we send it for print. In this video, we are going to talk about if you cannot avoid it, how do you fix it? So I'm going to show you three different scenarios here. The first scenario is we are going to making a ring with the split on the top. So this is the curve for the ring and this is on the side view is how much it's going to be split. So we are coming over here with the curve from two view and we are going to create in between those two. So this will be the new curve we are going to making the ring. I simply just going to use the sweep one rail and this is the rail this is my cross section and i will get something like this and simply let's go ahead to mirror to the other side so then we will have something like this now the first things to avoid on my other video the key is you always fit it first before you bowling in this case if you try to bowling unit together it will tell you the bowling fail it's because there's a big overlapping on the on the bottom part and this completely aligned. So the best way to solve the bowling first, we kind of moving a little bit from to the left and a little bit on the top. I have several videos talking about the bowling issue that you can find on my channel. So then after that, if you try to bowling, then everything will work. So when, when is the naked edges happen is when you try to fit the edges right now, with some small fitted, let's say 0.25, and you wanna pick up this one, this one, all the edges around it, something like this, and hit enter. Then you will create some naked edges right there. So it's always my suggestion, you wanna fit it first before you actually bowling it together. So let's go back a few steps. Before we actually bowling, I would like to go ahead and fit it with the same radius here, 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 here. And again with the other one, here, 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 here. After that, double check both of them are closed solid poly surface and you can go ahead to bowling union together. Once you are done the bowling union and because those two a lot of time is symmetrical, when you try to uh, mirror to the other side and then it, the corner will stick it out. If we see on the render view, you're going to see the little pieces stick it out and it doesn't look good on the render after you assign the material. So a lot of time we need to remove that surface. We are going to use the extract surface and we want to extract this one and also this one. Then you have the open surface right now. There are a few ways to fix this open surface also the naked edges once you remove it first you can coming over here if it is completely flat you can use surface from the planar curve or you can use the patch so if you coming over here you pick up all the tiny curve around it and you use the patch so you can get a surface like that patch is pretty good on something it's really clean surface the other way that we can do is we can coming over here, use surface from two, three, four edges, and we're gonna pick up the curve over here. And that will fix that area as well. And just need to go ahead to join them together. And that will back to the closed solid poly surface. So if you have a tiny break in your model, anywhere that this one is up, apparently is very big, any very tiny break open surface, you can use the patch or you can use surface from two, three, four edges. Uh, if it is completely flat, you can use surface from planar curve to patch them. That's our first scenario. The second scenario is also coming out from the fitted. Fitted is creating a lot of the naked edges. Sometimes we need it for the rendering purpose. They look much nicer. For example, I'm going to do the fitted edges here, 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 and hit enter. And after that, I realized I actually need to do the top as well. So I'm going to pick up here, here, and here, and here. 
and realized it gave me some extra surface in which is fell on our fillet. So I'm trying not to pick up to the point. I pick up here, here, and here. And everything looked nice, but except you got a uh, naked edges there. So if this is really small, all we need to do is fix the edges by coming over here on our surface tool. Then you have surface from two, three, four edges, and you can click on one, two, and three, and that will fix that surface. Sometimes when you're coming into the point, notice that surface is a little bit wavy over there. If it is small, let's go ahead to join them. But if it is big, then it won't look good. Other option that you have, since this is flat, we can use surface from planner curve and you click one, two, and three, and that will give you a better surface over there. In the case for the patch, this may not be a good scenario because it's coming into the point. So we're gonna pick up the surface edges and click enter. And you can see this is coming super crazy here because it's coming into the point. So patch usually doesn't work well with you have a sharp corner. So in this case, the best scenario will be the surface from planar curve going to one, two, and three, and then you can patch that and you can creating that surface and let's go ahead to join together. Surface from planar curve will be the best option. Now we want to look in the scenario if something is on the corner, how do we fix this or something is on the surface, uh, curved surface and how we fix it. So I'm going to delete them first. In this case, in this scenario, again, it's a clean cut and it's a nice and rounded no hard edges we want to use the patch to patch with this one and we can preview it and let's click ok and if you look at the render view they will look really nice almost you cannot see the seam over there so patch is a good use in that scenario now in this case if we use the patch you're going to pick up all the surface and remember it coming to the point, it may give us the problem. So the problem is not only it is not a good surface, um, good looking surface, and also it's not really fit into the age that we have. So patch is not a good solution here. Let's try another one surface from two, three, four edges. This is one, two, and three. And that will be nice, but this is not follow what original we want with all the points. So this will work if it is something really small that you are not gonna see it, that you can use this scenario <clears throat> and this solution. What I like to show you to create it back to whatever the original is. In that case, we need to come in finding out where's the point. So I'm going to use the command that's called connect and I'm going to connect this and this surface and you can come in there, extend it and then they meet into one point. I'm going to do again for this one and that one. And then so I will have those curve over there. So the curve that we have is all the way to the end. So we kind of need to trim it where that point is. So I'm going to use the commands for duplicate edges and we want to duplicate this edges, this, and also this one. So now we have all the curve that we can play with. Let's go ahead to use the split command and we're going to split this curve, this and this by this curve and this curve and this one. So now they are the shorter line right there. We can create a surface one by one. Let's go ahead to use surface from planar curve for this one, for example. Pick up those three curves and you can see I created that surface. Or we can use the surface from two, three, four edges and one, two, and three and we can create in that surface. So whichever that work for you, both command will work. So we're gonna pick up here, here, and here. All right, let's go ahead to join all of them back. And let's look at the property showing here is close solid poly surface. So I hope this helping you to fix your naked edges issue.
Let me know what you think or you have other solution in other scenario to share with everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanted to learn more about Rhino 3D software and how to transfer a 2D image into 3D model, I have a free webinar to show you six different way to transfer the 2D image into 3D model. The link is in the description below. It's completely free. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.